Hi students, this is AJ sir. Today I'm going to read an essay. CCTV, that is closed circuit televisions, must be installed in every classroom. Give your views for or against this. Think about it. Would you prefer to have a CCTV in each and every classroom in school? Do you mind being observed? It's an argumentative essay. First para, it is inconceivable. Inconceivable means unimaginable. It can't be believed. To think of any classroom not having a CCTV in the 21st century. So the writer opens with his assertion. He has made a decision to opt for this topic, that it must be installed. This has now become an essential part of the education system for providing a proper academic environment to the students. That's a very good start to the essay. You're making it very clear what is your opinion. But now you have to support this with facts because only opinion won't fetch you marks. Next paragraph. A CCTV installed in every classroom has many advantages. It helps to monitor the activities of students. It eliminates, that is, gets rid of instances of bullying and vandalism. Bullying is when some students, they exploit or they are aggressive with some other students. Vandalism means when you damage the public property. The vandalism resorted by some disgruntled elements. Disgruntled means upset. Often, if a student is upset, he or she may damage the desk or the window or the wall or somebody's bag. Who are out to disturb the academic atmosphere of the classroom. Next stanza. It is also very effective in catching students, adopting unfair means in an examination. How many of you have resorted to some unfair means? The ingenious ways adopted nowadays, ingenious means novel, new, uh, very, it's very challenging for teachers to supervise so many students at a time. They are impossible to be detected by an invigilator, that is a supervisor. However, it cannot escape the watchful eyes of a camera. The video feeds often serve as irrefutable evidence. Irrefutable means which can't be proved wrong. If a person catches you, you can always argue, no, I was doing this and that. But if a camera catches you, then it's irrefutable. This is irrefutable irref evidence for disciplinary action later on. So punishment can be meted out to them. This has made installation of CCTVs in examination halls mandatory, compulsory for all competitive or board examinations. At least for exams, it is compulsory. Next para. Besides monitoring the activities of students in the classroom, it also helps the authorities to observe the activities of teachers in the classroom. Some school teachers are very lazy. They hardly do any work. So the authorities can check how productive that teacher is. This is for some teachers are prone to do their own work or engage in other tertiary assignments. Something they were not supposed to do during lecture hours, they do. They were supposed to do it in the staff room or at their house. But they do it in the class and waste students time. That's not what they are paid for. Instead of teaching in the class, it is therefore useful in effectively monitoring and subsequently evaluating the teacher's performance in the class. So we need to judge the teacher's performance as well because his or her promotion, salary, everything depends on how well he or she has performed. Next para, the only argument against installing CCTV in classroom is its invasion of privacy. That's the only argument one can come up with. Invasion of privacy means interfering in somebody's private matters, especially for the teachers. This is for it could affect their level of comfort while teaching. If we know that there is a camera watching us, then we may become a bit conscious 
we may not be very open with the students or very frank with them leaving them at the mercy of officials ngos or parents because even they can demand the cctv footage in critically evaluating them they can criticize them by showing evidence from cctvs this argument has however been neg negated or or cancelled by the delhi high court on a pil filed against the delhi administration's decision so the delhi administration had made a decision of installing cctv then there was a pil that is a case in the court a public interest litigation that is a case but the high court judge said no privacy is not an issue here because it's a classroom not somebody's bedroom so this was the decision of installing cctvs in schools in its ruling in its judgment the court the court rubbished the claim of the right to privacy being affected the, the judge says that no there is no privacy being affected here for there was nothing private being done in the classroom that's a interesting point which is supposed to be a temple of learning however to prevent the misuse of video feeds there is a need to provide adequate safeguards like password protection because if some of the videos can be accessed or hacked by the students they can viral some something about the teacher some blunder he or she has made or the way he or she talks that's not fair this would enable only the stakeholders that is the people involved with this and not strangers to access the video feed so the cctv should be accessible only to the administrators the principal last para installing cctvs in every classroom is therefore absolutely necessary for raising the standard of teaching and learning in the school this would not only solve a lot of disciplinary problems but would also generate a proper conducive favorable academic environment in the classroom hi students if you found this video useful press the like button also to enroll for my online lectures or online test series email me or message me on instagram check the description for more information